So today brings with it some specs and benchmarks of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Notebook GPU, thanks to the guys over at Laptop Media who have reportedly acquired the very first notebook sample that has the 1050 Ti class graphics chip, which of course is based on the GP107 core that was recently launched on desktop cards. So. We have again some benchmarks to kick things off and they reveal some couple of interesting things and according to Laptop Media's report, the 1050 Ti for notebooks would be faster than the 970M in synthetic tests. And if you look on the screen right about now you will see a lovely table which will show you just how it fared in various things such as Firestrike and Cloudgate and so on. However, what's even more interesting than this is the fact that the 1050 Ti Mobile would get higher clocks than its desktop variation while having the same GPU configuration. Now, when I say higher, it is a small bit higher, meaning 200 megahertz. However, the score of 7757 points in Firestrike is actually not all that amazing for a GP107 card. For example, the desktop samples are getting things like 7800 clock with clocks 156 megahertz lower. So do take this as a grain of salt, the guys over at Laptop Media are pretty confident that these clocks are the real thing, however there is a small error in their specs that I will get to in just a sec as I go through them. So of course it is the Pascal architecture that's hardly a shock is it really, we have the base core clock of 1490 MHz with a boost of 1624. 768 CUDA cores, memory bandwidth of 112.1 gigabytes a second, it of course has GDDR5 memory and 4 gigabytes of the stuff and the memory interface is 128 bit. Now here comes the incorrect part, it is listing 64 TMUs which is just not possible. And I know you're wondering, well how is it not possible? Well luckily for you, I'm here to tell you. The number of TMUs, which of course is texture mapping units, is really 48 and not 64. And again, if you look on the screen, you can see some interesting stuff. So you can calculate this yourself with a pretty basic knowledge of the Pascal architecture. Each SM unit contains 128 CUDA cores and 8 TMUs. So since we know the 1050 Ti has 768 CUDA cores, you can simply take 768 and 128 and you get the number 6 of course you divide 100 so you divide sorry 100, 768 by 128 and you get the number 6 so then when you have 8 TMUs that we know are in each SM and times that by 6 you get the total number of 48 so you might be wondering, well, how come laptop media are showing this incorrect number? Well, it was probably just a case of GPU-Z or some similar program just showing the amount of TMUs incorrectly. But 48 is the real number of TMUs available as well as 32 ROPs. However, even with that in mind, the 1050 Ti is looking pretty impressive. It being faster than 970M is nothing to be sneezed at to say the least. So, as always, the link will be in the description below this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.